Hey everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University and today is December 31st, 2013. It's 3.58 p.m. and in this video I'm going to show you the sine wave behavior. So you've probably been thinking up until now, wow these enemies are cool, this bullet's cool, I can move, I'm stuck to the layout, I'm really having a good game come along, but these enemies are bland. You know, in Galaga the enemies moved to the side, they did cool things. How do I replicate that? And I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to start by cloning enemy 1 and renaming this clone. Oh wait, he's already named enemy 2. That was my plan. And I'm going to change his color to like a pink or a purple or something like that cuz that's like evil or All right, cool. So I have like the weird colored guys now. And this is my enemy 2, right? So I'm going to paste enemy two. Um, yeah, there we go. Here's my enemy two. So I've gotten this guy now, and he's all in my project, right? And he's the same as the other guy, but the difference is that this guy is gonna have the sine wave behavior. So I'm now going to have a dynamic, well, I wouldn't really call it dynamic, but I'm going to have an enemy now who is able to bend in a cool manner. So essentially, we all know, well, not all of us, a sine wave moves up and down in a snake-like pattern. So when you have a sine wave uh, enemy, he's going to move, you know, up and down. He's not going to be as predictable as you think. So in order to change... How far he goes when he moves, you're going to have a magnitude. So I'll show you really quick, and it's that simple. But right now, it's actually horizontal, so he's going to move left and right, which is cool, but yeah, not as cool as we may want it to be. <laughs> so I'm actually going to change this to 100, and I'm going to change this to vertical. Oh, and we have to take off his set angle, because if you notice, he also flipped upside down. So let me run this, and he should be good, right? So here's our next enemy. Holy snap, he's so spooky, right? Like, I don't even know what to do with him. Like, ah, oh, get away. And he has the wraparound, so he's back. Like, this guy is crazy. I'm, like, terrified of him. Ah, oh, I'm missing him. So, like, see how crazy that is? The sine wave behavior allows your enemies to get even trickier. Oh, I know what happened. He can't die. That's what happened. Uh, and my bullets are gone, so if he dodges it, I'm, like, screwed. Okay, so let me add a collision check for him, too. So now I'm going to replace enemy 1 with enemy 2. And I just add a check for the for that other enemy also. Um, so let's destroy enemy 2. All right, cool. And now if I hit him, he dies, too. But you may notice he's a little tricky, right? Especially with a magnitude of now 150, which means his movement is even more crazy than before. Um, whoa! So you see, he's like just on a whole other level. He's dodging my attacks. Like, I stand no chance against him. So the other guys were a bit more predictable, but this new enemy is like something I wasn't prepared for. And that's basically the sine wave behavior. So uh, have fun with it. And make up some cool stuff, because there's really amazing possibilities with the sine wave. Uh, you may have seen all the possibilities, right? Sorry, that's that's the orientation of movement. But you can also have different waves. And that's something I may get into in a later video, but I don't want to spoil you guys too much. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.